Hey everybody, it's SlasherDude2000 and Cameron Scott, and tonight we will be doing Jason X. Or as we like to call it, how Jason the series ended up dying, or Jason goes to space. And while Cameron's giving you the synopsis, I'm going to go grab some nanites and go transform for this video. So this film takes place in the year 2010, uh, or present day in the film uh, story, uh, and they, this uh, military group manages to capture Jason. Uh, there is a woman named Rowan that gets uh, cryogenically frozen for the most part, and then we fast forward to the future of the year 2455 where there is a, uh, an expedition of uh, students and they manage, they find Jason's and Rowan's frozen body and they obviously thaw the, both of the bodies or, you know, uh, uh, release them and, uh, and then a whole bunch of uh, chaos and so, oh, it, hey, it's, it's Uber Jason. That mask looks really cool. Thanks. As I said to you guys last week, don't forget to check out Ruby's, the mask, my go-to mask makers for every movie. Can you hear me all right, Cameron? Absolutely, yeah. Good, because I can't even hear myself. Um, look, basically where I left off was a, uh, sp uh, space expedition uh, full of students uh, find Jason's body as well as Rowan and they are both uh, thought out and revitalized and it's basically for about an hour and a half to two hours Jason just wreaking havoc on a space station with really bad CGI right um I guess it's my turn we will be doing I'll be doing my usual facts, which are Jason X came out 2001. It was directed by James Isaac, produced by Noen Cunningham, Sean S. Cunningham, and James Isaac. It was written by Todd Farmer. Music was done by Harry Manfredini for the last time, which I'm, um, again... Like the last film, I'm surprised he's still in this whole music business for these movies. Yeah. And after, if, I know if you guys heard, but Friday the 13th is going through a bit of a problem right now. The lawsuit between Sean S. Cunningham and Victor Miller. Which aggravates me because now we don't get the Jason X skin for the Friday the 13th game. Okay, back to the info. Locations. Well, location. Because this really pissed me off because most of the movies have so many locations, so many places they could do it. They decide to go to space and have their set in... Toronto, Ontario, oh, Canada. This all took place on nothing but a big, huge set. Kane Hodder plays Jason once again. Lexa Doog plays Rowan LaFont. LaFontaine, or... Lisa Ryder plays KM14. Chuck Campbell is Sunaro. It's some kind of Asian name. Katsunarin. Um, Peter Menshaw. Menshaw plays Sergeant Brodsky. And he went on to play the Persian Messenger in 300. And now we'll get to the kill stats. Alrighty, uh, <laughs> where'd you begin? Okay, uh, there, I counted 
this number fluctuates uh, online i've seen people go as high as seven and as low as uh four i counted six dead guards uh, in the beginning um okay so six dead guards uh three impalements two face smashes two dismemberments uh one liquid nitrogen face smash one stabbing uh one back breaking one broken neck one person sliced in half one throat slice one beheading and then two death by sleeping bag <laughs> if you can call it that yeah and then there were multiple self-inflicted deaths that Jason didn't really have anything to do with. I think, uh, oh, what's the guy's name that crashed the Solaris? Like, he basically, like, doomed everybody. That was actually Jason's fault because he killed the guy before they could get the controls. Hmm. Well, there's those as well. And I don't know how many of that were on the, that were still, you know, within the ship. So I don't know the number for that. So. Some people say Jason's kill count after that went up to the 500s. Ooh. So yeah, I'm gonna go so with... Yep. That's why he's one of the major horror icons. Next to Godzilla. So I'm gonna get to our fa my favorite kill, which is Jason breaks Azrael's back and turns him into basically a homemade nunchuck. Which I've used this kill many times on the Friday the Thirteenth game. I thank God they put this in there. I love this kill. I mean, most people would put their favorite kill as the. Nitrogen, liquid nitrogen kill, but this one really does it for me. Because it's not technically all that sci fi. It's a great nod to, uh, you know, the prior films, so. Right, and there is actually some information I figured out from the old, the last movie we did. That wasn't the first time Jason impaled someone and flung them across. A certain, a certain distance. Mm. Don't remember which movie it was, but again, it wasn't his first. Now, your oh, favorite? It might have been uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. Because didn't he like throw somebody like off of uh, the boat, and they they landed on a lower portion of the boat? Yeah, but I wouldn't count that as it. I believe it was Jason Six. But back to the favorite kills. What's yours? Uh, yes. The sleeping bag one is uh, the best. But a good runner-up is the uh, corkscrew. The guy that falls and gets impaled on the corkscrew. You do know that sleeping bag kill was virtual reality only, right? Well, yeah. So it's technically not, you know, a real kill. But I... I count it just because uh, for the, it, it's a good entertainment factor. Uh, but in in terms of a real kill, yes, I like the. What kind of space station just has these sharp, giant corkscrews that people can just fall on? You're not the first to ask that, but back to the list. Um, Lee's favorite kill: Professor Lau gets decapitated. I mean. We see the after effect with when he goes after the pilot, but really that scene was just so stupid. Hey guys! He just brought his machete back! Come back! Everything's alright! And then all you hear is him getting... All you hear is him screaming. This is definitely one of those Jason films where you gotta... You really gotta kinda like leave your brain... Oh, you know, you got to turn it off for a while while you watch it because uh, it's it's definitely they they did not think about the story. Uh, it's it's this is all about just setting up situations for Jason to kill, which 
Um, if that's the type of Friday the Thirteenth fan you are, then you know, then it, it works. But uh, there's just the movie, in my opinion, the movie fails in other ways, and we'll get to that later. All right, and we're getting down to the funniest kills I felt in the movie. Condor gets impaled on screw. Yeah. He literally gets screwed. And please stop me from making another bad pun. Seriously, this one, I think we were set up for this one from Jason Takes Manhattan because... We had that guy get impaled, um, I honestly cannot think of any other movie where a person has been impaled on this strange thing being, just poking up, but this one was funny because as soon as you, you just watch him slide down, like a drill bit, going down into the screw. Jason kills people for screwing, and this time Jason was the one doing the screwing. Okay, second funniest. Yeah. Briggs impaled on Anchor. I mean, we don't actually get to see how she gets impaled on it. We don't see her, how she dies. But you just see her pop out of nowhere, hanging on this Anchor. Bravo, Jason. And then, the third and final funniest, Janessa, gets sucked away. My god, this, this was funny. Oh, this sucks on so many levels! Bringing in, to the, bringing in them bad jokes this time, eh, Sean S. Cunningham? Just, wow. I mean, we do see the after effect. We see her struggling, but that joke just... Turned me off. The only funny thing was her dying. Now on to more facts. This is the tenth movie. Sorry guys, we had to do Jason at versus Freddy for continuity. You know I'm a big continuity nut. We have to have each movie in the right order for the series. Especially since this takes place way, way in the future. And that one takes place in 2010, maybe 2003. Um... It had, it obviously had a better story than most space movies. I mean, it did l way better than Leprechaun 4 in space. Yeah. I mean, come on, that had lights there, that had a shrink, a growth ray, that had, um, turning a guy into an ugly spider-esque creature. This one you can actually get behind because America would build this kind of stuff. No, there's definitely a entertainment factor to this film. It's just a lot of people have said this, and I agree. It just has a sci-fi channel quality, not the current sci-fi channel. Current sci-fi channel is actually uh, they're putting out some quality stuff. I'm talking about like mid 90s sci-fi channel or early 2000s sci-fi channel like bad synth music bad cgi all the setting is like either really well lit or really dim there's like no in between or you know it's just but they did right. do they did do one thing right you gotta quote me on this they brought us uber jason That badass look. And he doesn't <laughs> what? Oh, go ahead. You were saying something? Oh, I was just going to say, Uber Jason doesn't drive anybody around. I, I mean, like, what's the point? Oh, I mean, the good look, it's a change from what we've seen for the past few movies.
Um, and that futuristic knife, that wasn't that bad. I, for a minute there, I was hoping that was his new machete. special effects with a decent cast. Uh, I mean, he lands on a new Earth. Yeah, Earth 2 or whatever. I would like to see a, a you know, I would like to see a futuristic Jason film, you know, uh, handled a little bit more professionally. I think it, would, it could be really entertaining. And before any of you comment this in the video, in the comment section, I'm sorry, Cameron, but you missed it. There was already technically a sequel. Oh, in comics? Yes. Jason X yeah. 2 on Earth 2, where we watch him fight his own son. Oh, wow. Which, I haven't seen the comments, I only heard about this for a while, um, but I heard it was pretty good for a comic book. I'd like to actually see it in a film, even though it seems pretty bad of a concept, but I don't know. I, lo I hated the story. I loved the kills. I mean, everyone knows this is where you send all your horror icons to die. Never send a horror icon into space. Hellraiser did it. Leprechaun did it. Um. Critters did it. Yes. And five other movies did it, and they all ended up dying off. Yeah. What's next? Freddy or Leatherface goes to space? Now, what about, instead of going into space, going underwater? No. 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 <laughs> Just fuck you, New Line Cinema. You ruined Jason after this. I mean, until we get to the reboot, which we'll be doing next week with the fan film, but you just drove Jason in back to hell by doing this. I mean, there was one part of this movie that I did not mention that I actually liked. Jason getting taken out by Bro Sergeant Brodsky in space. Just that whole comic, comet effect. Mm. So what would you rate this film? Or why do you compare it to the others? Uh, 8.2? Oh, you uh, you uh, have a high rating for this film. I mean, again, I said I like the kills. But I definitely li like this movie more than uh, Jason Goes to Hell, just because we actually get to see Jason at And the it's killer. also way better than Jason Takes Manhattan and A New Beginning. So, I guess... Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. 5.4? That's, yeah, for me, that's where I'd put it. Add it like a 5 or 6. You know, it's it's good. Um, yeah, I need to reevaluate. When we do our uh, uh, video next week uh, for the, the reboot and uh, Never Hike Alone, uh, maybe I can uh, reassess how I would rank the films because... I've been a little inconsistent on, you know, what I've said as my was my favorite, but uh, this one's definitely not it, but it's not my least favorite, um, so, yeah. Right, and don't forget, guys, during that week, we will be sending out a new video of 
We'll be taking down my Jason Voorhees mask. And we will be showing you the next few masks I have on in my room. And you guys can choose which movie you want to do next. But keep in mind, guys, me and Cameron did have a plan to maybe do Halloween, the Halloween series in October. Because that is when the new... Um, movie comes out when the Halloween 2008 comes out so keep that in mind and um yeah we'll see you then um we'll see you guys next week any final words Cameron I uh, don't send a you know sex robot to do a man's job <laughs> you mean an armed sex robot yeah, she's still lost. That's the point. Right, and do not send your iconic killer into space. I'm obviously never going to do that when I finally become the next top horror film icon writer. So, good night, everybody, and we'll see you next week for the reboot and the Never Hike Alone. And don't forget to check out Ruby's. The greatest mask makers on Amazon and online. You will find a great selection there. They have multiple good masks. I got my Jason X mask from there. I got my Halloween costume from last year there. Um, they do really great work. But watch their price. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys next week. And Slasher Club out.